Welcome, I'm Dragon, and for today, let's make a trampoline for today's Blender tutorial. First, add a circle with 144 vertexes. If you want, you can also change the radius. I personally change it to 3 meters. Then go and select a vertex and count 24 over, and select again, and repeat this until you get back to the first vertex you selected. You should have 6 vertexes selected. Now extrude those vertexes downward, and select two of them, and E for extrude, and then S to scale them toward each other. By the way, make sure mean point is selected. Then do this again until you get three more legs. Next, go add a skin modifier, and in edit mode, select all with A, and control A to change the size of the skin modifier. From here, you can add a subsurface modifier to smoothen the square box and make it more round. Now it's time for the springs. Add another circle. Now add a screw modifier, and as you can see, it didn't really do much, but if you are in edit mode and hit A and move it, you can start to see how the screw modifier works. Then increase the screw and in durations until you get something more like a spring. I personally use 0 0.03 meters for the screw and 16 iterations. Then make a backup spring and hide it. Then apply the screw modifier to the one that's not hidden. In edit mode, select the top vertexes of the spring and use E for extrude, R to rotate, and G to move to make the shape of a hook for the springs. Then do that for the bottom of the spring. and move the spring to one of the edges of the tramp. Then in edit mode with the spring selected, select the spin tool and spin it 360 degrees with 48 steps. By the way, don't do what I did by putting 360 into the steps value instead of the degrees value. Blender and did end up crashing. To make the small triangle connector pieces, you can add something and go in edit mode and hit M to merge the vertexes at the center, and move it to the side of the tramp. Then create a small triangle and E to make it thicker. Then add a skin modifier. Then add a subdivision modifier and make it more like a metal triangle. Now unfortunately to add the fabric, you can't use a plane and add subsurface because it's apparently not a perfect circle, so instead you can add a circle and match it to the edge of the tramp, and then fill the face with OK topology. All we have left is the outside of the pad, so add a circle and use the basic tools to shape it to look like a pad. Here's how it looks now that we are done modeling the tramp. Now all that's left is texturing. I just went around adding simple textures around the tramp until I got the middle pad. To get the tramp look, I kind of cheated and took a picture of my tramp and used it as an image texture. By the way, this was after trying to make a seamless image texture in Photoshop. There you have it. I hope you have a tramp and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. By the way, my voice may sound a bit different because I've been in a pool all day. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye!